everyone and welcome back to my channel well guys today we're going to continue working on my winter special dolls and this time i want to make some sort of i don't know winter sea creature i haven't find the final name for this project yet you know it better probably because you have seen it already on the thumbnail and in the title of this video but in my head in my imagination this is gonna be something like an antarctic mermaid or something like this i want to make a mermaid some sort of yeah, sea creature girl all completely covered in snow ice with all kinds of you know, winterish details and stuff like this. I've never made a project like this. I've made a couple of winter specials you know, last year, two and three years ago. I've made a winter unicorn, for example. But I've never made an icy and winterish mermaid. I know you love mermaids and all kinds of sea creatures as much as I am, so I think it's gonna be a very interesting project. But I want to pay some special attention to this doll who will become the model for our transformation this week because this doll I've got from one of you. And you know guys, normally I don't have any fan mail address or anything like this because here in Belgium we have to pay tax on all shipments from abroad priced above 22 euro and, and 22 euro it's already including the shipping costs so you know it means you have to pay tax approximately on everything and, but anyway i think there is a way to find my home address because i always leave it on the packages that i send to you with the dolls that i sell on ebay and that's why sometimes i get packages with dolls actually i've got two of them one of them was from America, full of amazing Monster High dolls and this uh, mermaid Frankie was a part of this collection so thank you so much Caitlin for this beautiful packaging I know you will recognize your doll, you will recognize your gift to me and all these dolls were really interesting, really like some special Monster High releases like for example this mermaid Frankie doll because you know normally they all make Laguna Blue dolls with mermaid tails and this is Frankie with a quite unusual shaped tail so thank you so much again Caitlin for this beautiful gift for these amazing dolls really it's a, it's a fantastic gift thank you so much and the second package that I've got was from New Zealand with some super cute tiny dolls they're like lol surprise but uh, they're like tiny kitten girls, super cute, we're going to repaint them later. So these were the two packages with dolls that I've got from you, thank you so much, really. It was an amazing surprise, I haven't expected it at all when I've seen the package from America and from New Zealand, I was seriously confused, so thinking like, uh, have I ordered something from America and from New Zealand and forgot about it? But no, no, these were two amazing packages with dolls, surprise packages, and today we're going to use one of the dolls that were coming from you we're going to use this beautiful Frankie doll because I think she will become an ideal Antarctic icy winter mermaid princess so and now I think we can start working because it was already quite a long intro just please guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the bell button and also please support my art here on YouTube with your likes so, and now I think we can finally start working and now we're going to turn this beautiful Frankie mermaid into some Antarctic icy winter queen. So, first of all, I will like always quickly undress the doll and then I will cut her hair very short, really as short as I can. Oh, and what is this, guys? Check it out, so interesting, it's like a piece of a sponge installed into her hairdo to make it more up on the front. 
super cool, very interesting. I've never seen it on dolls before and I've undressed already hundreds of dolls here on my channel. So I told you from the beginning it was some special doll, I could see it immediately. So yeah, now you can see that this is just a piece of sponge attached to her head. Yeah, very interesting, super cool. After the hair is gone, I will warm her head up with a hair dryer to make the rubber soft and to melt the glue inside of the head. Then I disconnect the head from the body and then I remove the rest of the short hair from the inside of the head using my tweezers. The next step is removing her makeup with pure acetone like always. And after this we can give this doll new hair. Check it out, I've chosen this pastel unicorn hair for this project. It's a very interesting blend of some light blue, light purple and some very light grey hair. It really looks like some cold icy water to me at least. This is what it reminds me, really some icy water. So I think it's the right choice for an ice mermaid and now I'm going to take my rerouting tool and I will start placing this new hair into the old holes in her head. So here is the end result a couple of hours later, this is how it looks, very good, like it's supposed to look. Now I will add tacky glue inside of the head, then I will let the glue dry for another day and after this we will start drawing the face. And before we actually start drawing the face, I have to seal it with a couple of layers of our legendary Mr. Super Clear sealant. And then I start the transformation with applying a couple of layers of white pastels to her face because I'm going to give her very very light and kind of icy skin tone. So I would love to have a little bit uh, lighter canvas to start. Then I sketch her future face, the eyes, eyebrows, all, all these things and after this I will start working on her skin tone using blue, light purple and very cold pink soft pastels.
Yeah, and after this I will draw the face more detailed using my watercolor pencils. I want to give her white eyelashes, so right now I'm drawing the bottom lashes using a white pencil. And then later we will attach white falsies. And in the end I still add reflections to her eyes using white acrylics. And after this we can actually start working on her body. You can see now the color difference between the head and the body. So now we need to blush her body as well because you know they're supposed to have the same skin tone because now they look like parts of like different people. And in the beginning I sand the top of the body with nail buffers. Afterwards we will seal it with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear and then we will cover it with the same pastels like we've just used on her face. Okay, now the head and the body look like they do belong to the same person. Very good, I'm very happy. And now I want to work on her tail because it's gonna be a very, very long process today. I want it to be super icy, super shiny. And that's why we will decorate it with this fantastic iridescent sequence. I've bought a box of them especially for this project and I really hope it will be enough of them to decorate her tail completely because right now I'm going to glue the sequins to the tail creating an illusion of icy scales and yes like I told you it's gonna take really a while guys
And here we are, five days later, just five days later. It was a very long job this time, but the result is absolutely stunning, I think. Just look at it, guys. Really fantastic, super pretty. I'm totally mesmerized by it. And this is, by the way, how many sequins I've got left after decorating the entire tail with a double layer of them. Not that many, by the way. And the fresh bot tube of glue is also almost out. It's absolutely crazy. It was a brand new tube of glue. Now it's almost an empty tube of glue. So, and before I continue, I want to do something else. I want to take these different kinds of iridescent paint and I want to apply a very light layer of it to the top of the body and to the face as well. And it will make her look even more cold and icy. So, and this is it. You can see how it looks now. Very pretty to me. I really love the effect of this paint that this paint gives. It looks absolutely fantastic on doll bodies when applied with a very, very thin layer using an airbrush. And now I still want to decorate her arms. And for this I will cut our sequin pieces into four. And then I will glue the smaller pieces to the doll using the rest of the glue. Okay, now let's work on the fins. I really love the original shape of her fins. They actually look already like they've been made out of some icicles or just ice, something like this, some melt ice. And I also love the minimalistic fins on the end of her tail. So I will not change the shape of them, but I will paint them and I will cover them with glitter. So I start with covering it with a couple of layers of white acrylics. Then I will apply this extreme glitter varnish from Mod Podge. It will look super glittery and shiny when it gets fully dry. But now I still want to add even more glitter to the big fins and to the fins on her arms. And on top of it all, I still want to add some fake snow and I will add it not just to the fins, but also to her arms, to her shoulders, to the end of her tail, probably also to the waistline. So I will try to make her really super snowy and frozen.
Wow, guys, yes, check it out. Now she looks really super winterish. I really feel cold <laughs> coming from her. She looks totally frozen. Amazing, really. The next level of being frozen and cold. So now I still want to make a top and a crown for her out of Warbler thermoplastic. And I will make them at the same time because I'm planning to decorate them in a very similar way. So I start with making a basic top and a basic crown. I warm the thermoplastic with the hair dryer. It becomes very soft and I can make basically anything out of it. And when this material cools down again, it becomes very hard like plastic like it was in the beginning. So here are the basic top and the basic crown and now we will decorate them. And I have here this super pretty foil, it has like a multi-chrome shift, really, it's just not normal, it's super shiny. And now I will cut this foil into smaller pieces and I will glue them to the top and to the crown. So, and this is how it looks, super shiny, very pretty, and this shift of colors, it's just really not normal, crazy. So, now we can move on and make some special decorations for her outfit. And look, I've bought here a bunch of silicone molds. They're mostly sea themed, all kinds of fishes, shells, stars, you know, all the stuff like this. People normally use them to make nail decorations, but you know, this is an ideal size, an ideal scale for doll as well. So I take a white building gel for nails to make fake nails, an UV lamp, and I make a bunch of tiny decorations.
And look guys, here are my treasures. Check out all these tiny fishes, these tiny seashells, really adorable, so cute. And I think by the way that this is a very promising technique. I think I will use it really regularly from now on because you can make lots of cute decorations for dolls using these mini molds. So and now let's attach everything we made to the crown and to the top. Okay, this is it I think, this is where I'm gonna stop, it looks already good enough and now I still want to paint these decorations with white acrylics because I want them to be very white and now they're kinda, you know, off-white. Then I apply a layer of extreme glitter to the white fishes and to the seashells. And then I will cover it all with snow. Okay, we're almost there guys, we're almost done. It looks already super cute, but I still want to add this tiny star and a chain to the crown. It will make her look really like some fairy tale character. And then I've still decided to attach a couple of tiny silver stars and moons to add some silver accents to the outfit, otherwise it looks too white. So now I think we're finally done here and we can go back to the doll's head because it's time to style her hair finally. And first of all I use hot air of my hair dryer to make her hair straight and kind of hanging down. And you can see now perfectly the difference between the two sides. 
So, and after this, I take a curler and I make very soft locks. I don't want to give her actually like curly hair. My goal is to make very, very, very soft locks, just kind of to give her hair a glamorous direction. And this is where I've ended up with her hair. I feel really satisfied. And now I can finally move on to the last steps of the makeover. Now I can finally attach the white eyelashes and I can add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. And after this, guys, I will finally put everything together and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. Guys, and before we see the pictures of the finished doll today, it's me from the future with a very, very, very urgent message. It's actually already Thursday evening. You will see this video in less than 24 hours. The video was finished, obviously. The doll was finished. But I've still decided to put my camera on and to record this message because I've just got the samples of my first merch, guys. Check it out, check it out. This is my first let me customize your collection. You know, normally influencers, YouTubers, hate the word influencer. Like other people, yes, they're influencers. Am I influencer? No, I'm a doll baker on YouTube. So while the influencers start releasing their merch already, I don't know, starting somewhere from 100,000 followers and sometimes even starting from 50,000 followers, me, a simple doll customizer, I have waited almost uh, till 600,000 followers because I really wanted to make it all myself. I wanted to create the design, the drawing myself. I really wanted to create my own idea that would represent my art, my dolls, myself, like our community here on YouTube. You know, I didn't want to put just some logo or just to, to write Pop and Atelier on a t-shirt because, I don't know, I just don't like it. It's okay, it can exist, other people do it. I appreciate it, no problem, but this is not the way I wanted to go. I wanted to go my own way, I wanted to have my own idea, I wanted to have my own drawing, I wanted to have something that I would enjoy myself, and now when I see the end result, I'm really in love with it, and I know that I will use all these things, all this merch, all these goods, that I will use them in real life myself all the time. So, what I've decided to do, like, as an idea, I've decided to take one of my existing dolls. Uh, this is, a, obviously, <laughs> a little red riding hood doll that I've made, I don't know, a year and a half or two years and a half ago. I remember it was in the summer, but how many years ago? I don't remember. And she had such a tiny friend, a little wolf, my mom made it. So I've decided to take this couple, the little red riding hood and her wolf, and I've decided to uh, recreate them into such a design. So, and as you can see on this picture, the little red riding hood doll has caught a tiny wolf somewhere in the forest, and now she's going to customize him because she has watched a lot of my videos and now she's planning to turn this wolf into, I don't know, into a raccoon, for example, or maybe even into a tiger or something like this. So the wolf is not that happy at the moment, but I think it's gonna be okay. So. I'm showing you the t-shirt, but actually I have a lot of different things with the same design. T-shirts for men, for women, for kids in different qualities, so check it out, it will be there on the website. Then I have these beautiful mugs. I'm gonna send them to my mom for sure, so these two I will keep for myself and for my husband and the other two I'm gonna send to my parents. Then my personal favorites are the bags. I really use these kinds of bags all the time. I normally carry a small camera bag with my keys, phone, what is there, bank cards, wallets, lipstick and that's it. 
and then already all the bigger things like laptops, a bottle of water, maybe some extra hoodie or something like this or umbrella. I carry in these kinds of handbags and I also have one in my camera bag all the time you know, rolled like this, that I always have some sort of a shopping bag with me that I don't have to buy some plastic or paper bags in supermarkets. So we have it in black. This one is a little bit bigger and I just wanted to show you that the 15 inch laptop goes easily in. Even the 17 inch laptop would go easily into this bag because it's really a big one. See, and there is still plenty of space for water and for everything. Then these square ones, oops. <laughs> then these square ones, they're a little bit smaller, but the laptop fits inside anyway. So, what else is there? Hoodies, sweatshirts, all kinds of stuff like this. So please check it out. The link is in the description box under this video. And actually, also why I've decided to record this video right now such in a hurry because this is actually the very last possibility for me to release this merch, my first merch, <laughs> before Christmas because the next week Friday I will have to skip a video because I'm still busy with my two Christmas specials so I'll have to skip one video and then I'm going to upload two weeks in a row and it means that the next video will go live just on the 18th of December. And of course on the 18th of December it would be already a little bit too late to release merch before Christmas. So guys, next to the very long intro I've also added a very long outro, but it was very 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 important for me to share this information with you right now because I'm so excited really. I'm sitting here like a little kid playing with all these t-shirts and, and bags and mugs and with, with hoodies and with everything. So guys, if you are interested in something of this stuff, please check out the link in the description box. And now let's finally, finally take a look at our Winter Queen. Or how, what is her name? The Antarctic Mermaid. I already forgot who I've made. <laughs> so guys, and here is finally my Antarctic Mermaid. And she's officially the coldest doll I've ever made. The winter unicorn that I've made the last year was already super cold and winter looking but this girl, oh guys, I literally can feel waves of coldness coming from her and she also looks like some fairy tale character to me I don't know, some winter queen, winter princess, winter mermaid really very cool, I'm very satisfied with this project today really love this doll and you know, since I'm now sitting in lockdown already for how many months, I don't know, since March and it looks like I will see no winter this year I have decided to create my own winter sphere and winter mood and you know holidays mood with my dolls and I think I've quite reached the goal with this doll because she definitely gives you the winter vibes. I will place this doll for sale on eBay so you can buy it now for three days like always and this time by the way guys I have more than one doll for sale my Elsa doll is also back to stock unfortunately the person who won the eBay auction two weeks ago couldn't buy the doll for some serious personal reasons so Elsa is back to stock the link you will find in the description box under this video and the link to my beautiful new merch <laughs> my beautiful new merch guys super excited is also there in the description box so please check it out if you are interested so guys and now please let me know what you think about this makeover today do we like this doll maybe we don't like this doll please write it also in the comments under this video so let's discuss it guys so guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button. And I will see you already very soon in my new doll repaint video. Love you guys. Bye.